I want to call the meeting to order. Please uh, stand for flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Welcome. On the agenda is public comment. So we have public comment. Um, he's, he's here for Lance Brothers. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I, was, Sorry. <laughs> I didn't recognize him. Like, uh -oh. like I thought we we had. So. Is there any other public comment? Yeah. I don't see any. So we'll move on to the minutes. Did anyone have a chance to read the minutes from last? I did. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, passes three to zero. Okay. Commissioner comments and committee reports. Um, yeah, I just have a couple things. I attended uh, Representative Epley's legislative coffee last Saturday. Um, and I hadn't made it to one of those before. Um, my kids usually have soccer or some kind of event on Saturday morning, but it was really good. It was uh, it was a good experience. A lot of people attended. Nice to hear updates um, right here at home and how they're affecting our county. Um, so I will continue to try to make those as uh, time allows. Uh, the other thing is the Atchison County Fair released their dates yesterday, so I wanted to pass that along so everyone can mark your calendars for August 3rd through the 6th um, to head out to Effingham and enjoy all the hard work that the kids and everyone planning that are uh, are doing. So, go ahead. Okay. Jeff? Pray for you. Pray for the war. War victims. Absolutely. That's a tragedy. That's all you have. Um, I had an area agency on aging last the meeting last Thursday morning. That seems to be going well. And then last night uh, we had a NEK multi-county health meeting I attended virtually. So those are things that's been keeping me busy as if I didn't have enough. So, <laughs> okay. Um, first on the agenda is Kim Pruitt. Um, approval of purchase order to Dell Technologies. Is Kim yeah. on? Come on. Does anybody have any questions? No, I make a motion to approve purchase orders. So this would be uh, for four Dell computers and 11 monitors in the amount of $7,487. And this was budgeted for, correct? Yes. That's correct. Okay. Fund. <clears throat> okay. And these are on a three year rotation. So um, budgeted in 911 funds. So. Okay. Do I hear a motion to uh, sign the PO? Sorry. I, I made a motion. Oh, I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll second. Okay. Second. It's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Passes three to zero. Thank Perfect. you. Thanks, Kim. Thank you. I didn't hear you, Jack. Sorry. Okay. That's no problem. Next is Kim and Wes. Um, uh, is that the one that's canceled? That's the one that's canceled. Okay, we can wipe it off on my second sheet. Sorry. Um, then uh, the Civic Plus order. Yeah. Okay, I presented all three of you with the purchase order for our annual website hosting for the county website, along with the SSL certificate and the redesign fee of $7,623.12. You approve? I'll second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Passes three to zero. I'm excited for the redesign process. Me too. This redesign process, it'll take three to six months. I mean, we don't rush it. Um, and we'll set the committee of, of county employees to, to help with that. And then we'll present it, we'll present it the final to the commission for three months. Okay. So that goes through several steps where they will 
quite a few steps. Yep, we'll pull all the employees and then we'll view other websites um, to see what mm -hmm. we're doing good versus what we can improve on. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Joe Schneider. Um, we're going to do the bid openings first, or do we want to do the um, signing of the project agreement? Yes. Do that first? yes. This is a okay. We have project uh, number C 5156 01 from the Kansas Local Bridge Improvement Program. Just tell us the public a little bit. So, about it. so Kansas Local Bridge Improvement Plan uh, awards these bridges. We get one hundred and fifty thousand dollars towards this bridge being built. Uh, we have to take care of the. Uh, if we have to move right away, you know, stuff in the right away, that's our responsibility. But all participating costs are included in this one hundred fifty thousand. And as soon as we bill them, usually we get our reimbursement right away. But it's a program to help on some of these uh, smaller structures. And we've taken advantage of this will be our second one in two years. So we've, we've been very fortunate. And also, if, you, if you're willing to close a bridge before you apply, they'll give you an additional 50000 that you have to close a permanent, a, permanent, closure. a permanent closure to get that extra money. I, yeah, I'm kind of familiar with that. We would actually be taking two uh, efficient bridges, the one you're replacing plus another one. one out of and, yeah. Yes. Uh, I think that's a pretty good program if, if you have the somewhere that can be closed with no repercussions. Right. So any other questions? Do I hear a motion to approve? So moved. I'll second. It's been moved and second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Passes three to zero. <clears throat> Look, on the second page here. Do I sign that lower where the red is? Or you That's... would sign this one here. I believe they do. You go to. I did the. You did that one. Yeah. I did, since it's marked, I just want to make sure, and we can double check. We'll after double the check after the meeting to okay. make sure. All right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, in order here, the first one is a bid opening for the microsurfacing wedge patching, Morton Road. For Morton Road. And of course, we all know that Morton Road is coming apart. And we are going, we've had, uh, we sent it out to bid on patching the bad spots and trying to get them back to where the road is smooth and, and safe to travel. And uh, Vance Brothers is the only one that returned a bid and their bid for Morton Road is $59,093.50. And that would be patching all the bad spots. Now, do we want to do these one at a time or wait till we're done on our are we intending on accepting them today? Or are you going to if, come back with well, us? Well, I've got our projected expense on these roads and what the actual bid is. And I think that if, if we're good with it, we just go with it today and we can get started. I think if we take them one at a time and actually, if you want to compare it, then we would accept the goal. Is, it, is that fine? Yeah. That so, way we're not going to get. So our, our projected expense was $60,000. So it's right on so target. So we're we're pretty much right on target. And can we just better explain so I can understand? Because we've uh, Morton Road's been probably one of my top from constituents all over the county, not just in District Two, um, of what exactly this will be. So we're hiring an outside contractor to come in 
and wedge patch, meaning. So where, where it is peeled up, yep. like an inch, inch and a half, we're gonna come in and we're gonna level that off with micro seal to where it's a smooth transition as we go down the road and fill the bad spots. Awesome. And then there's a couple spots that we will go out that's starting to slip and we will have that ready for them when they come. And it, it takes as whatever passes it takes to make it smooth. Okay. And we did the micro seal on the 286. Yes. Um, and had a really good feedback I have on mm -hmm. it. Um, so for only doing the bad spots, will it transition well? Like, yes. Okay. Yes. It's and that's in the bid that it's supposed to transition. Well, you know, and the reason why we're not doing the whole road is we may have more of these spots come up. So that's why we're trying to patch what we have and then we can address what's later. If we cover it all up, then we have more failures underneath. It's just going to cost us more money. Perfect. So that's Thank and you for that explanation so I can better explain it when people ask. For because it. there may be more spots come up. I mean, mm -hmm. and I think that this material, since we've tried it out, I have more faith that it would be a better filler because the nature of it's, how it's put in, it's more liquid. It would actually fill in and, and level those spots more than Correct. a well, compactable material that you start to get a compaction right that you're not right. having to jump off. So. so with this wedge patching, is that also that two-year guarantee that we got with the microsurfacing? The way I understand it? Yes. Okay. yes. Perfect. Okay. So awesome. if okay. we have any trouble with it, they'll come That's going to make back. people so happy. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like I'm, this has been such a long time coming. I think means we're, my opinion is with we're in what we were estimating, I guess we okay. pretty much want to do there. So. If there's no more questions, do I hear a motion to accept the bid? I'll make a motion to accept the bid. There was one bid? Yeah. That's it. I'll second. It's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 So three to zero. Just, just to explain that, we had two companies bid it last year, and we invited both companies to bid, plus we put it out on our website and everything we could to try to get more people. I understand. It just, yeah, it's yeah. rather see more participation. The second one is the Michael surfacing project. This is a, which one's is it? The, the it's on the front of the envelope too, Joe. Okay. Like they put which one it is on yeah. the front of their envelopes. Microservicing project. Yes. This, while I'm doing this, is uh, going through the county. Yeah, we picked out roads, as we did in our meeting, that we think we need to work on to save the road. And the list of roads is in here if you would like me to go through them, I can. Would you like to just a quick read? Yes, please. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> like 286 from Graham to Edwards and Edwards to uh, Highway 159, where we stopped with the first one. It finishes that road. Uh, Cheyenne Road, a Jewel Road from 286 to 73, Haskell Road from uh, Highway 9, to Farmington, the Bellevue Loop, 262nd Road from 73 to 59, uh, Phillips Road from 59 to 274th, Ottawa Road, 230th to 59, and Cedric Road from 298th to 314. Now, when we sent this out to bid, we also put a stipulation in there that uh, if we decide to do less roads or more roads, it would all be for the same price. So if there's any changing in here, as long as they're not having to move, I'm sure that that would be okay. But uh, that's that's the roads. And then we have a total dollar figure of uh, 944610 dollars So if if we board, if something comes up and we have, you know, we don't know what the fuel tax, you know, I heard that today that they could possibly uh, do something with the fuel tax to help with the fuel well, that affects us directly through our special highway. So 
and I had figured a million twenty two thousand dollars on that on what I'd anticipated cost. And it gives Is us that the only bid we had then? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. But that is to seal the roads just like we did. The, 286. Yeah, the, yes. the test test strip from yes. Lancaster to mm -hmm. Grant. And you believe this is the best course of action? I do. I do. I, I, I've. Uh, I only asked it because I couldn't tell you whether it was good or bad, Joe. You know? Well, I, I only it, depend on you. So. Well, from what I've been watching it, from what I've seen so far, it's it's holding up really well. Uh, in three years, we may have to chip seal over the top of it, but we're we're able to do that. So, you know, there may be a last five years, eight years, you know, but right now it appears to me that it's working. And I don't know it's, what you guys have. I'm have on looked. it several times a, a week and Same. I look at it every time. And so far it's held us way beyond my expectations. Yeah. I've been impressed from the day they put it down and the education process they gave to me <clears throat> and the two-year guarantee and then just the product ever since. I mean, I'm on it often also and and feel like it's going to help us countywide. So, so that is that is the bid there. With 944.610. Okay. Right. Your motion to accept the bid. So, uh, commission, I um, I don't think you have uh, cash to pay for this, and that's one of the things that you would need to discuss. I, I I don't think you have budget for it right now. This would Should be part of the bond, correct? Yes, correct. correct. So I think it would be premature to to uh, accept the bid. Yes. So even even though it says we can add or subtract at any time. Yes. Okay. So is this a part of your normal budget. No. But so they put the language in add or subtract at any time. That way we could engage in a contract to ensure that we have availability for um, to secure the work, um, but also with that leverage of knowing that we're heading toward the bond. To finish the process, but we knew it was a 90 day window. Um, so, is there a minimum or it they allow us to? No, minimum. there's no minimum. So, we could scale. I mean, it gives us that where we can commit, but we can we can pick based on our budget because what you were saying, utilize what you have for the budget. Well, I mean. We're hoping to finalize that bond in 90 days and do this. However, if the bond falls through, we can scale back to budget and still do be, what we're able to do. But it, at least we get the commitment and on the calendar to say, okay, we're we're going to be working with good weather here in 90 days. We need to be ready to 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 move forward. And if Pat, uh, if you had brought that up to me sooner about this, we could have discussed it sooner. Well, my apologies for that. Well, no, I don't mean, I mean. So, so, so what, what should we do? Yeah, Pat, what do we? I don't think you're ready to award the contract. I moved the table. Um, I moved the table. Okay. Okay. Do I need to second that or do we just, does that automatically? I think. Uh, no, that's a motion. There should be a second and a vote on the motion to table. I'll second the motion to table. And I guess everybody uh, in motion, everybody that wants to uh, table it to say aye. 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 So, real quick, are we tabling it <laughs> till we get for like this week, like special meeting? Like, I don't want to wait another, like, I don't know what the timeline is. And I know everybody's. I don't want to lose out, I guess. I want to, yeah, we'll so, revisit it as soon as possible. Okay. Is that? Like, can we do that? Can we table it and have a special meeting yet this afternoon to get some clarity? Or? Well, I, I, I don't even know. We're talking about a bond. I don't know the interest rate. 
I don't know the terms. I don't know the timeline. So I mean, I'm, how can I make no. a decision based upon a bond that doesn't exist? So I guess that must have been a lack of communication in our workshops when we've been discussing. Well, it. I know we've been discussing a bond, but I didn't. We haven't. Again, we haven't approved a bond. We don't know the interest rate. We don't know the terms. I think I like to know all those things before I say, "Hey, there's a bond." We we went to bond council, correct? And we're waiting on the 90 days. Is that where we're at? Well, it's a 60 day um, protest petition period. And we're, we're within that right now. Okay. Is there a language in there of acceptance, like only good for I mean, because we kind of had these discussions as far as moving things along and is as there, long as we can table it and get to it without like waiting another week, I guess, to understand. Do you guys have a date on how long this did would be good? No. So, so would a week would put you out? No, that'd be fine. Okay. 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 Thank you, sir. That's all that okay. one. We'll table that one. And then we had Wedge patching. Yes, which is going around to the bad spots in the roads, like we used to asphalt patch, and they would come in and they would patch those spots, and then we can lay chip and seal over the top of it, and some of it is before what they would lay their micro seal on. And uh, I had an estimated eighty thousand dollars on the roads are, of course, two eighty six. Edwards to Graham, uh, just like what we finished, Cheyenne, Jewel Road, Haskell, the Bellevue Loop, 262nd, Phillips Road, some patching on Ottawa Road and Sedgwick Road. And it was $55,880. And I had estimated it at 80. So, $5,880. Yeah. That, that would be like what we used to do with our asphalt patch, but they can come in and do it a lot faster and a lot more efficient. And this is not dependent on the bond, correct? Nope. So this one could be accepted today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make Anything? a motion to accept. <clears throat> a second. Been moved and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Passes three to zero. And we will clarify the second part of that and get back with it next week, or at least address it. Well, we're within the protest period, so we can't move well, forward with a bond, so we may not be able to issue it. I think he ought to come back with what he could do with it as budget. Well, I, I want to be able to discuss this and and figure out exactly what we're going to do to give them a definitive answer. That's yeah. the only way. I'm okay. Going. I you can't do anything that. till the protest. Right. I'm not promising. That's like 30 a, days from yeah. yeah. Okay. Or longer. I so I don't know. So then what do you what do you guys want me to do then? When are you going to schedule a meeting or are we going to do it next Tuesday or next Tuesday? I think we ought to do what we know we could do. Wait at till and then wait till the protest period and wait till we start the bond process. So my understanding of our workshop discussions where we were starting the bond process, knowing that the, the protest period was the only thing that could affect whether or not we move forward, that we were still moving forward with a $2 million bond for the road plan to, 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 to get us out of Exactly right. I'm just saying. Okay, yeah. I just yeah, want to make sure, because I'm like, but why I, are we stuck? These are the things I'm, I'm raising in my mind. First, the protest period is long. What, but I still want to know what the interest rate is, what the terms of it, of the, of the payments are. I don't know any of those things today, Casey. Well, and I know they went over. I don't have my notes, but that, that it was a better interest rate than the bridge bond, and it was a lot. Like with the financial director, we had, we could make this work. Uh -huh. We we got all green lights all the way across the board. And I think that that wording in there was just to to give us that 
out, so to speak. Like we we definitely want to make headway and we definitely want to move, you know, in the right direction. But if for some reason the half the county shows up and say, we don't want our roads done, don't bond at this good interest rate, like we had an out, I guess. So mm -hmm. maybe um I misunderstood our conversations in the mornings to, I just to wanna, get to this point, but that's that's where I thought we were. I just want to make sure that we talk with legal counsel, no, make sure that we're all on absolutely. solid footing and we'll we'll check it out next week. Okay. Yeah. Thank I just think gentlemen. it was important to explain kind of mm -hmm. where the disconnect. Yeah, there is a there's so many things been discussed, it's kind of hard to sometimes keep track of but everything. Next Tuesday will still be under the 60 day window. Right. <laughs> I so I'm bet still I, mute the conversation. Okay. Noted. All right. Anything more? Mm, no, I don't think so. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Two other things here. Um, we have a PO. Uh, Gloria Roofing and Coating uh, out of Jamesport, Missouri for the two uh, courthouse porticos. Uh, the amount was $6,447. All right. Those two invoices came in Monday, yesterday, okay. and I was put out of time to add it to the agenda. So we had already accepted the bid for sure. them doing the work. That's just to um, doing the work. Okay. And as soon as uh, we issue the check, we'll send the invoices to um, the historical society and then they'll reimburse us for those. Okay. I move to approve. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Passes three to zero. And a companion, I guess, PO to that was the um, Mocan Regional Council. For grant administration services in the amount of five hundred dollars. Yep, that would be their fee to facilitate. Mm -hmm. Do I hear a motion to accept? So second. It's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 That's just three to zero. Thank you. Any council updates? I don't have anything to add today. Okay. Uh, executive sessions. I think we were in approach for two different ones. Oh, yeah, that's before what, Mark. What about Mark? Mark first. Mark first. Uh, the resolution we were from Kite's 14.1. Should we do that first, Eric? Let me see that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can go ahead and do it. It got hidden down there in the bottom. <laughs> yeah, well, I hadn't, yeah, I was going down the list, so I hadn't seen that one yet. So, Mark, you want to present them? Oh, that's fine. So, we've been discussing this in relation to our grant, it's uh, federal programs. We're working with Scott Lloyd and Group. Uh, we're learning things we're having to start doing to be in compliance with this grant program. Again, under CARES Act, it was a real short window, so not a lot of guidance, but not a lot of concern. And with a five year window, they're there are things we have to do to become compliant with the federal grants. One of which is this uniform policy compliance. Uh, they granted us a draft. We adjusted it to make it fit what I think our action county process would be based on staffing that we have. And it's just to provide some guidance on when can they apply? What's that process look like? Did it require commission approval or not? If there's no matching funds, they can, they can do it in an emergency. So this is just to get that resolution completed. So we can get this to Scott Lloyd and we can continue the next part of the administrative process, which is the uh, internal control documentation. So I moved to approve. We, well, do we have physical resolution? Yes, we do. I believe Pat gave them to you last uh, Tuesday morning and we tabled it till this week. So you all have enough time to review it. Uh, I'm not seeing it in here. I can print it for you. They emailed it to us. <clears throat> it's not in here. Okay. okay. That was another reason that I wasn't aware of your presenting. So yeah, I read it, put it over the weekend. I just had a couple questions about it, but Mark answered those. 
um, just kind of reading down through how the departments just spin, but it's because of the, the process at the beginning is where we go through the approval process and know exactly. There you go. Is it out of paper or is that all 13 pages? Sorry, there's more to come. I was like, it felt little. Yeah, they always have to kill a tree when they. <laughs> You see the internal control document we'll come up with. Uh -huh. We'll kill a, little, a few more trees. Uh, I know Casey, some cases concerns were really about oversight somewhat a little bit. And a lot of the things I've written in, really we added, this was a base document that they had as a template. I've added anywhere you see a reference to financial manager, I added that. Premise being Mark's going to be our grant guy for the county. He's going to be the point, the funnel, if you will. Mm -hmm. So the logical point to make sure that they're doing everything correctly to me is Mark. That's why we've done it that way. So just so you all understand. Go ahead. I don't think Mark I appreciate really that. Excited to hear that part, but I do think it makes <laughs> the most sense. It made sense to me. Yeah. And even though it's written in legal <laughs> with that, no I mean, how do we ensure that that gets to him when there are, you know, um, questions or emails is that I mean is that just something there that hits his desk first or I would think that anything? Linda so typically from my experience it seems that grants come through the treasurer's office initially mm -hmm. so it's a communication through Connie and, and Mark I believe will trigger that we've received some grant money mm -hmm. Mark I, may, that may be the first time he sees it based on what I've seen with base grants they're probably going to be going through Mark to go through that process with them okay. so Mark's probably going to be involved I'm guessing a lot from day one or two of the process in most cases. Okay. Is that fair to you believe? Okay. I'm kind of speaking for you. I apologize. Okay. And is there a resolution number for this? I believe we're on 1499. But 14. Patrick, can you verify that for me? I'm looking it up now. Thank you. Fourteen ninety nine is what I have. That's what I have too. Fourteen ninety nine. Nine. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. Do I hear a motion to approve resolution twenty twenty two dash fourteen ninety nine, a resolution by the Board of County Commissioners of Atchison County, Kansas, establishing uniform guidance policies and procedures for the application, acceptance, and administration of grant funds. So moved. I'll second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Passes three to zero. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Yes, now we'll be ready for the executive sessions. Um, I believe who's first? Brian, Brian is first. <clears throat> okay. Go ahead. So I move that the Board of County Commissioners recess into executive session at 1.35 p.m. to discuss personnel matters of non-elected personnel as allowed by KSA 75-430. 4319B1, and that the purpose of the closed session is to protect the privacy rights of the employee and that the board come out of the executive session. You said 30, you want 30 minutes at 2.05 p.m. in the commission room in the basement of the courthouse. Those present will be the three commissioners, um, maintenance director Brian Oswald and HR director Jody Moore. Do I hear a second? second? It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. Right. That's a three to zero. We're going to move into executive session. After executive session, um, do we need another executive session? 
I move that the Board of County Commissioners recess into executive session <clears throat> at 2.05 p.m. to discuss personal matters of non-elected personnel as allowed by KSA 75-4319-B1, and that the purposes of the closed session is to protect the privacy rights of the employee, and that the Board come out of executive session at 2.50 p.m. in the commission room in the basement of the courthouse. Those present will be the three commissioners. Move a second. It's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 That's just three to zero. From executive session. Any other business? Public comment. Hearing none, do I hear a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. It's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 We're adjourned. I'm not going to hear this. Okay, I'm going to be here by Zoom. You will, okay. But I may not come to the, I've got six hours different.